Now in the second part today, it is four o'clock and June second has come, and uh, for the second part of the geography, we have come to know about the equator, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle, Antarctic Circle, and what are the importance of these latitudes are. Life exists only on Earth, and it is possible. because of the various phenomena closely related to the climate and the vegetation without the climate without the vegetation life it is very much difficult for us to understand about the mere position of life now all these lives are uh, whether it is human being animals plants or other species the latitude along with the longitude enable us to spot the whereas where Uh, about about the various places on the earth surface equators the zero degree latitude is the only great circle we have come to know about it yesterday because what the diameter and what is the greatest circle can be formed on earth all other latitude are the smaller circle except the equator and uh, all the latitudes uh, whereas all the meridians of the longitude are the great circle and uh, this was about the latitude and then the longitude where the meridians are they are the great circle now the sailors and the aircraft all over the world use the great circle route to save the time and their fuel too and uh, now as we have come to know about um, the great circle uh, two different type of the great circles we have seen this is earth this was one great circle and this was other great circle this great circle was known as the equator and this is called the meridian meridian equator this is a great circle this is also a great circle all the pilots or the gps they use this equator great circle and the meridian great circle to find out at the exact location where they are at that particular time the sailors and the aircraft all over the world use this great circle route to save the time and the fuel also these great circle routes are drawn between the two points with reference to their latitude and the longitude with their latitude and the longitude now the main five parallels of the latitude mark the main climate zone of the earth main five parallel of the latitude mark the main climate zone of the earth because of their position with reference to the appro apparent movement of the sun there are also called the temperate and the temperate temperature zone or the heat zones so all these type of the great circles along with other circles they define the atmospheric changes and uh, different type of the temperate zones and the heat zones everything is been defined by these two now the latitude the imaginary lines drawn on the globe which uh, yesterday i told about is this are the most important while studying the geography of any country because every country uh, whether it is india or bangladesh pakistan saudi arabia and african countries all the latitude lines pass through them china russia european countries american countries all these continent all the here this australia the latitude lines pass through them and like this to determine this latitude uh, we can observe the pole star also the latitude of a pole of a place can be determined by the measuring the altitude of the pole star from that place we can sometimes uh, we have seen the what the height of the uh, pole star the altitude of the pole star from that particular part with an angle they may determine the value of these two the climate zone of the earth now we will understand i just uh, 
told you about the climate, how these latitudes are responsible for the climate in the different part of the earth with these five important latitudinal lines, but for, uh, which are making the temperate zone of the heat zones. And those are the making the climate zones of the earth. Climate zone of earth. Time the climate zone of the earth because the earth is spherical in shape, inclination of its axis rotation, the revolution, all the places on the earth's surface do not receive the same amount of heat from the sun every time. Latitude help us to divide the whole earth into climate zones. These latitude help us to divide the climate zone. This climate, this climate, this climate, this climate, this climate. This climate. These are the climate zones. These latitude helps. And to get the accurate location and accurate uh, mathematical values and accurate descriptions, these are very much important for that. And the world's climate is determined on the basis of these temperate zones as the amount of the heat received from the sun. The main heat zones are known as the torrid or the tropical zones, temperate zones, and uh, frigid zones. You have come to know the frigid zones means the coolest one, temperate zones, heated zones. First, we will understand about the torrid or the tropical zone. First is torrid, T-O-R-I-I-D. Torrid zone or tropical zones or torrid zones or the tropical zones. What are they? These lie between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. What I said yesterday 23 degree and half minute. Yeah. 23 degree and half minute here. In between these two parts, whatever part comes, they are called the torrid zone or the tropical zones. Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Tropic of Cancer towards the North Pole. Tropic of Cancer. This is the tropical of Capricorn, CAP cap, towards the southern part. Northern part and southern part, 23 and a half degree from the equator, 23 and a half degree from the equator on the northern side, on the southern side, and between these two, the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, the whole area is known as the torrid zone or the tropical zone. Okay. Now Equating and dividing the north torrid zone. The area between these, the what we have seen, equator is dividing it into the north torrid zone and the south torrid zone. So this torrid zone, this much part is known as the north torrid zone. North torrid zone. This equator is here. And this is the South Torrid Zone. This is the South Torrid Zone. Now we have seen the equator has divided this into two parts. Upper towards the north, 23 and a half minutes. And lower towards the south, Torrid Zone, 23 and a half. Got it. The area between these, between the 5 degree north to 5 degree south, of the equator are called the doldrums or the equatorial zones. The area between 5 degree north and 5 degree south, they are 23 degree, 23 degree, now 5 degree. North and 5 degree south. They are called the tall, all these parts which called the doldrums or the equatorial zones, because they are 
near the equator. So D O L doll drums D R U M S also called equatorial zone because this is near the equator. This is the equatorial zone also. Now, what we have seen and are the area of the low pressure because of they receive the direct rays of the sun. So this, these are always low pressure area. Direct heat of the sun. They are receiving the other low pressure zones because they are receiving the direct heat from the sun. What we have got to know now today? Now this is the equator, 23 and a half degree on top of the equator towards the north. That is called as the line of Capricorn, uh, line of Cancer, and uh, 23 and a half towards the south is called line of Cancer or Capricorn. Now these areas above the equator towards the north, below the equator towards the south, they are also called the toroid zones or the tropical zones, including these two. But in this tropical zone, there are five degree towards the north and five degree towards the south from the equator is called the doldrums or the equatorial zones. It means the doldrum or the equatorial zones are inside the toroid zones or the tropical zones. These doldrums are the low pressure area where they are low pressure area because uh, they receive the direct heat from the sun. This much we have come to know till now. Now the temperate zones. What are the temperate zones? Now the north temperate zone means 23 and a half degree north to 63, 66 and a half degree north. And the south temperate zone again the same means this area from temperate zone from this area to 66 and a half go up to here 66 and a half degree here and 66 and a half degree towards the south this area this area is known as the temperate zone the center area was the toroid zone and now this is called the temperate zone t e m p e r a t e Temperate zone means from the north to right zone to 23 and a half towards the north, from the north south to right zone, 23 and a half towards this is 23 degree only you can say, then it will become 66 and a half degree. These are making the temperate zones. Okay, these are temperate zones. Here the climate is always moderate, neither too hot nor too cold. Here, this, neither hot nor cold. Temperate, of not too much high temperature. This area does not receive direct rays of the sun. It receives slant rays of the sun. Hence, there is a great difference between the summer and the winter temperature conditions. Thus, affecting the weather changes with the mostly occur within this range. Maximum weather changes takes place here. Don't you think that the India lies in the temperate zone? Because there are the extreme cold, extreme hot, lot of weather changes, weather condition changes may be important. During the summer, the days is the northern hemisphere within this region are longer as we go towards the pole, but in the winter becomes shorter. More than half of the human population is stayed in this region because the temperature conditions are ideal for living. These conditions are ideal for living, so maximum population of the world are residing in these temperate zones. Why not teacher be as a brother? 
फिर आएगा बैठेगा आएगा जो बच्चों क्या पढ़ोगे ये पढ़ेंगे सर रीडिंग करवाएगा एक तक 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 जो बच्चों आते इतने काफी बाकी कर पड़ेंगे ऐसे ज्योग्राफी कोई नहीं पढ़ता क्यों पता नहीं सब आती है तो उनको समझाएगा नहीं तो बच्चों को समझ में कहा से आएगा एक एक चीज को देखो कितना चीजों से मेरे को याद हो जाता है ना कि क्या होता है इक्वेटर किसे बोलते हैं उसको ग्रेट सर्कल क्यों कहते हैं उसके ऊपर कितने डिग्री ऊपर जाकर के ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर होता है कितने डिग्री नीचे ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन होता है उसके बाद वो टोराइड जो कहलाता है वो सब गलत है देखो एक्चुअली बच्चे को डिफाइन करो दे विल बिकम इंटेलिजेंट हाउ यू विल मेक आवर कंट्री एज द बिगेस्ट कंट्री ऑफ द वर्ल्ड नाउ दिस वाज द सेकंड पार्ट नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द थर्ड पार्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड द फ्रीज जोन ऑफ कोर्स आफ्टर दिस इज द फ्रीज जोन नाउ फर्स्ट हैज कंप्लीटेड सेकंड पार्ट आई डिफाइन एंड दैट वाज द टेंपरेट जोन टी ई एम P E R A. Now third zone, that is called the frigid zone, the F R I G I D. Frigid zone. The region between the Arctic Circle to the North Pole and the Antarctic Circle to the South Pole. Now from here, Arctic Circle to the Antarctic Circle. This region, Arctic Circle. Of course, we know this is the North Zone. So this is the Arctic Circle. A R Arctic Circle. This is Antarctic Circle. A N T A R T I C Antarctic Circle. The region after the temperate zone up to the, in the southern part up to the Antarctic Circle is the frigid zone, and the same thing happened towards the north also. And extremely cold area these are because of the inclination of the axis. The area is the north and the south of the equator. This is a very slant rays during winter, and we have come to know about this too. That uh, a day before yesterday, I was telling you about uh, that six months day and the six month night occur over here. Here, the sun rays covers a much larger area and then comes, so it loses its heat in the process. In fact, this region have about nine month of winter during one year. and remaining remains frozen for the major part of the year as they are named as the frigid zone nine month of the winter it's too much now this was the climate zone of the earth we have come to know about it photo le lo iski this is a very important diagram aaj aaye jo photo bani hui hai सबकी किताबों में है मैसेज आ गया ये सर फोटो बनी है तो कोई रो सर 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 ऐसी ऐसी का नाम बताओ जिसके पर पैर होते हैं ऐसी होती है ऐसे के बारे में जानते ही नहीं हो हर सिया के सर भी होती है पर भी होती है पैर भी होते हैं हर सिया के सर पर पैर होते हैं हमने ये तो नहीं कहा सर के ऊपर पैर लगे होते हैं आई सेट एंड देर आर टू डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द थिंग कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द लॉन्ग इट्यूड वी हैव टू नो दिस इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द रीजन टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लॉन्ग इट्यूड मीन्स नाउ लॉन्गी 
what are these concepts of longitude these are very important thing we have to come to know about this thing so now what we have seen the longitude of a place as this is the longitude now the longitude has the place for the different types the longitude of a place is the angular distance of that place east or west of the prime meridian now about the longitude you have come to know north pole south pole now east and west east and west this class is the best east and west now draw a straight line the divided the great circle okay now the longitude of a place is the angular distance of the place east or west of the prime in india now take first angular distance How much degree it is? Twenty degree east. Twenty degree. That was fifteen degree in the longitude. But this is twenty degree. Why this is so? Twenty degree. Here yeah, this is twenty degree. Again this is here. This is twenty degree more. It means it is now forty degree. Why this? There was fifteen degree. And here is twenty degree because this is the length of this area is more in comparison with the poles. The at the that side this is shorter. Here it is longer. So we have divided in twenty twenty degrees. But the gap of twenty degree each. But in the case of the longitude we have divided when it was a matter of longitude. This was a great circle, and this was fifteen degree. Fifteen degree. Fifteen degree means this was thirty. This was thirty like this. In the fifteen fifteen degree we have divided. Here we are dividing twenty twenty degree. On the globe, the longitudes are drawn as a series of semicircles that run from from the north pole to the south pole. They are running from the north pole to the south. Pole. Direction is this from north to the south through the equator. these lines are called the meridian meaning midday these are line called the meridian meridian or midday midday meridians what you have seen in the series of the circles from the north pole to the south pole passing through the equator these lines are called the meridians meaning midday as all the places on the same meridian how they are known at the same time in the same meridian all the countries having moon at the same time because moon turns like this in a circular part earth is rotating in a circular part it means in this meridian moons are at the same time unlike latitudes where the equator is the only great circle dividing the earth into the two halves all meridians are complete circle dividing the earth into eastern and western hemisphere very important part this was a great circle this was dividing into two equal part but from wherever you will cut this earth in the longitudinal part every longitude is a great circle means their perimeter is same as from everywhere perimeter is same from everywhere earth perimeter now equator 
was the only great circle in the latitude and now dividing the earth into two halves all the meridians are complete circle dividing the earth into eastern and western hemisphere thus the 180 degree longitude that lies just opposite to the prime meridian prime meridian together form the complete circle okay now it means as what is zero degree now so eastern part is zero degree northern part is zero degree it means opposite was 180 degree thus 180 degree longitude 180 degree longitude that lies just opposite to the prime meridian just opposite to the prime meridian the prime meridian together form the complete circle prime meridian also itself form the complete circle this is also very much important part let's make a very good structure of this now this is the earth oh my god the shape has changed धरती का नक्शा नहीं बदल गया एस्टेरॉयड गिर गया था उस पर अब मैंने निकाल के बाहर फेंका धरती वापस जगह एस्टेरॉयड गिर गया था तो वो धरती बंद हो गई दिस इज इट दिस इज इक्वेटर फ्रॉम द मिडल पार्ट अभी वो एस्टेरॉयड का गड्ढा है अभी वो जब मशीनें लगी जब भर देगी तो अभी गोल हो जाएगा वो नाउ व्हाट इज द प्राइम मेरिडियन ओवर हियर दिस इज द प्राइम मेरिडियन from here i am showing you the back side also transplant earth now what is the center this from here with the center this is the center of the earth from one side how i have to show you suppose this is it okay this is it this is in the landier place this is from the front side this line this is from the back side this line now you watch it like this okay watch it like this what will happen this is the center of earth this point is the center of earth so draw one here and one here a straight line it would be 180 degree it means this and this this is it this is called the center and this is the structure this is the angle meanwhile in the neighboring meridian are the numbered are the label as 179 degree east and 179 degree west means we cannot say it exactly 180 degree we will rather say 179 degree east and 179 degree west east and west but the 180 degree longitude is left unlabeled we cannot label 180 degree it is unlabeled neither east nor west is written against it as it is also known as international date line that line where exact 180 degree lies exact 180 degree lies here that is called international date line idl the longitudes are drawn 1 degree 1 degree 1 degree less minus 1 degree of 80 degree 179 Minus one degree of eighty degree, one seventy nine towards the west, towards the east. So now the longitude are drawn one degree apart of the equator, with one degree to one seventy nine degree towards the east and one degree to one seventy nine towards the west. Thus, on the globe, we see three sixty semicircles drawn through the equator and converging at the poles, north and south poles. All are one eighty degree, and they are all converging at this one. converging means they are meeting up at this point got it they all are meeting at the north pole and the south pole now what is the importance of these longitudes are we have studied about the importance of latitudes now the longitudes important 
are also very important. Let's see. To fix the location of a certain place on the Earth's surface. Now you have found out easily about the locations in the different part of the Earth through these latitudes. But longitude fixes the exact position. It is fixed that this is here. Means accuracy of that particular position of anything is done with the help of this longitude. Now, it is not possible to fix the exact location of a certain place of the globe on which they have to latitude. For example, Delhi can be anywhere on 28 degrees 39, 39 minutes, not latitude, but exact position of the Delhi cannot be fixed. Whereas 77 degree 12 in a minute east longitude interact with the position with 28, 38. And hence the exact location of the Delhi on the globe can be found out by 28 degree 38 minutes. 28 degree 38 minutes north. And the second is 77 degree 12 minutes east. 77, 12 east degree minutes. This is the exact location. Therefore, with the help of the network of the latitude and the longitude, the position of all places on the earth can be known. This is a network. All different types of the networks are formed over here. So we can easily find out about the exact location of these things. नहीं उसका जूस नींबू का नहीं और वो क्या बोलते हैं नहीं नहीं ये बेल का तो वो उसमें मिक्सिंग बना के बिना मिक्स उससे क्या वो निकाल लो बीज निकाल लो चीनी थोड़ी सी डाल डाल के चीनी एक ग्लास पी जाते हैं now the next part is the great circle roots now these great circle roots are totally different and the zero degree latitude is the only great circle. We have come to know about this. This was it. This is zero degree latitude, not longitude, latitude. This was zero degree. This is the only great circle. Only great circle is zero degree latitude. Or equator is the only great circle. Equator. As it is the plane passes through the center of the globe, all other latitudes are smaller circles. This is a great circle. And less of these are small circles. Of course, they are not the diameter as they are small circles. So small. On the other hand, all the meridians of the longitude, all the meridians of the longitude, all these lines, all the meridians of the longitude. Okay, now it, so all the meridians of the longitude, two opposite meri meridians forming the semicircle together. I have seen two opposite this and this. What does it make? This is semicircle, this is semicircle, making a complete circle. This semicircle, this semicircle, make it a complete circle. Okay, now what happened? But here in the case of this, it is slightly flattened. Earth is slightly flattened. So it look, look like this. One half circle and other half circle, one half circle, other half circle, make it a complete circle. Okay, now what happens? Now, on the complete circle, it means they are making 0 degree and 180 degree from the center. We have counted it out. A straight part, 180 degree. Now what happens? Great circle as they divide the earth into two halves, eastern and western hemisphere. So, these, you can say, it's a great circle also. Because it is dividing now earth into the eastern part and western part. These are the eastern part or eastern hemisphere because this is east 
This is west. This is eastern hemisphere. This is western hemisphere. This meridian, which is making zero degree and one eighty degree, this is the center. Although it is not so, one seventy nine. No. Where did it come from? I got it. Huh? You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. अभी बट अभी नहीं आफ्टर टीचिंग दिस नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस डोंट इट इट दैट नो बट आई विल इट इट आफ्टर दिस पुट इट हियर इफ यू विल देयर वन वन पीसेस विल गो इनसाइड एंड यू विल फिनिश इट ऑल सो पुट इट हियर यस very bad habit now what happens about this there are there can be infinite or the innumerable longitudes but for our convenience only 360 meridians are drawn 1 degree apart of the equator we have come to know about the 360 maximum possible at the 1 degree 1 degree 1 degree the shortest distance between the two point on the earth surface is the arc of great circle the shortest distance which passes through the two points suppose x and y two different points suppose x and y let's understand what are those great circle roots leo so that is नीचे गिरा अब उसी में से उठाया हम उठाओ तुम वहीं जाओ धीरे से और से कहना लगे थोड़ा सफाई से ठीक है तुम पूजा बना तुम वहीं खड़े हो जाना Now what happens? The great circle roots The great circle roots. What are these? Now, what happens? First, I am going to make the earth. This is the topmost part. Now I am making earth like this. It is a convenient part. From here, you can watch it very clearly. This is the earth. This is topmost part. This is called X. I am giving it a name X. And of course, the other part will be the Y. And the shortest distance between the two points on the earth surface is the arc of great circle. Arc of great circle. Shortest distance. This is X. Somewhere in the bandit, behind it is Y. This is the shortest distance, the straight line. Of course, the displacement. The shortest distance between the two points on the Earth surface is the arc of great circle, which passes through the X and Y. This is the arc of great circle. Between these two shortest positions, 
arc of great circle means from here like this arc this consider this as the arc of the great circle it is passing through the x here and y here this is the x point and this is the y point now this is the shortest distance a straight line it passes through it this is the arc of great circle arc of the great circle through x and y for example the shortest so no need to tell about this the shortest distance between the madrid and the beijing is not the 40 degree north latitude but the great circle or xy drawn between these two points is the shortest distance importance of the great circle routes what are the importance of these great circle routes this is also the great circle this is also the great circle oh because every line is passing through x and y why have i have just given the concept of this x and y x and y because every line will pass through it every line so in the, in this case longitudinal case every line is a great circle no? because every line is passing through this x and y from any side you can rotate it like this every line will pass through this so it means every line is a great circle everywhere the distance is same everywhere the diameter is same everywhere is the perimeter is same it means every line is the arc of great circle from this x and y points what are the importance of the great circle routes are the shortest distance between the two places on the earth and the lies on the arc of great circle they are used mainly to save the fuels and the times as it is very economical why it is so we know about it that as ka hai as if we want to go australia here what do you will do will you go like this and come here from here or rather doing this you will use these lines here and come up here so by using these longitudinal lines we can easily reach up to our destination it will save our our fuel it will save our time so most of the time you would have seen when you go to a nearby country by aeroplane you take slightly longer time in comparison with those countries which are far away from your country this happened only because at that time they used the direct distance and and got in the case of the longer distances they used to travel by this arc of great circles this is it this is why the, this saves our fuel and time also it is economical always it is the most advantageous for the aircraft over the north pole regions over the north pole region it is advantageous because from here they can go here they can go here they can go here they can go here but if they will use this path they have to encircle it they have to encircle it it is very much difficult for them when they will encircle it they will take a longer distance so from the north pole they will go like this then like this like this okay now for to demonstrate this i will give you an example bhai koi dhaga lao dhaga lao dhaga i will give you an example of the pendulum bill allow you to understand अरे कुछ भी लाओ लटकाने के लिए दिस इज अंश ऑफ वायर वॉट इज दिस दिस इज माई हैंड नाउ आई एम होल्डिंग दिस बंश हाउ मच लेंथ इज दिस दिस इज वेरी स्मॉल but when i will rotate it like this how much distance it is covering from here to here it is covering 
this 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 and this longer distance no it is going here 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 and back and forth longer distance and when it will go from here to here this will cover a shorter distance perimeter drawn by this small pendulum will be more of course more in comparison with this it means if you will travel from here north pole to here you can easily move if you will use the longitudinal lines you can save your time and fuel but if you use the latitude line lines you will ex use the extra time and extra fuel hope you got to understand about it next thing this was the nearest possible demonstration for me so i don't see that this is a bunch of useless wire useful wire importance of this you have come to know the sailors on the sea also use it wherever it is possible wherever it is possible i am using the term for the sailor because a ship it is not possible ship to fly in the air uh water ship okay it is the space ship or the aeroplane can fly in the air and is not to other regions not for to other region but if you have to use your ship and you have to just supply some goods from your ship at that time you have to take a complete round it is expensive quite expensive or in this time uh, as the bikes or the cars in on the earth moves with a kilometer per hour and uh, in the space ships or aeroplanes or ships what is move on the water they their speed is known as the nautical miles they count it in nautical miles okay anyway now the sailors on the sea also use it because this one the calculation of the longitude and the time how to calculate longitude for the time calculation of time using calculation of time using longitudes how it is possible one can imagine the pandemonium if there was no system of time the world communication and the working would have come to a stand still sab kuch ruk jata on the other hand most of the time you will see this type of the world on the other hand what is on the other hand two pens on this end this one pen on the other hand this so it doesn't mean on the other hand means if you start watching your other hand it is saying na apne kuch lagaya white white andar se nikala now on the other hand if east town village and the city in the world had kept its own time it would have caused utter confusion as the clocks in the watches would have to be constantly altered as one traveled from one place to another hence to solve this problem the greenwich mean time gmt is taken as a reference for the international time time is added to the gmt while traveling towards the east of the prime meridian and deducted while traveling west to the prime means from the prime meridian prime meridian this one or prime meridian this is the prime meridian this is east this is west when you will travel from prime meridian to east they will add up plus time is added to the gmt while traveling towards the east of the prime meridian and deducted while traveling west towards the prime minister prime meridian the time is deducted like this the greenwich mean time is formed from the prime meridian when we move towards the east time is added plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 bring the format kar sam dekha na ganda mon mon dalo 
कि प्लस कहीं पर प्लस में होता है कहीं माइनस में होता है माइनस का मतलब है कि यू आर ट्रेवलिंग अवे फ्रॉम द प्राइम मेरिडियन टूवर्ड्स द वेस्ट देन द ग्रीन विच मेन टाइम इज इन द सब्सटेक्टिव मोड नाउ होप यू वुड हैव अंडरस्टूड ग्रीन विच मेन टाइम व्हाट द हेल इज दिस द जीरो डिग्री मेरिडियन पासिस थ्रू द रॉयल एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल ऑब्जर्वेटरी एट द ग्रीन विच विलेज नियर लॉन्डॉन it is called the prime meridian from the london l o n d o n dawn long dawn this is the long dawn the zero degree meridian passes through the royal amos astronomical observatory royal means it is of the raja ki royal astronomical observatory royal means it is run by the king astronomical means it watches that universal or cosmotic things observatory means they watches through like the oh they watches observatory greenwich village at greenwich village and what is the greenwich time greenwich is a village name in the london green Which in London is a village. This observatory is situated in the Greenwich Village in London. It is called the Prime Meridian. This is termed as the Prime Meridian. Okay. In eighteen eighty four, it was decided by the International Agreement to adopt the local time of Prime Meridian zero degree worldwide. by all countries and international airlines hence when the sun is directly overhead at 0 degree longitude and it is 12 o'clock noon when su sun is directly over this at 0 degree this is called the 12 o'clock of the noon the international time is calculated east or west of the prime meridian with reference to this time this is taken at 0 degree is a 12 noon from this point go to east it will add up from this point go to west it will subtract it up like this the positive and negative values of the different times are seen now since the oi bada bana ke nahi bana ja ke dekh ke aao aur leke aao since the earth rotates west to east very important part you are going to understand today always earth rotate from west to east this is the rotation of earth not from east to west from west to east it to take this is rotating west is from west to east it means it is from the east to west oh, what the hell is this yaar from the opposite side someone will say from the east to west no from this side you will say from west to east okay but from this side you will say from east to west oh no come on for me it is a clockwise direction for you it is an anti clockwise direction for this me it is a clockwise direction now anyway since the earth rotates west to east the places situated towards the east of the prime meridian will have evening while the places of the west will have the morning thank you Thanks. this is hot why it is so Okay, you got to know about it. Now, though, since the Earth rotates from west to east, the places situated towards the east of the prime meridian 
will have the evening. Positive means this is having the evening. E V E. Evening. And which are situated from the prime meridian towards the west. Okay. West will have morning. They will have evening. This will have morning. Because earth is not rotating from east to west, but from west to east. Okay. Now, when it is noon at the west to east, we'll be having morning. But at that time, it will be too noon. Uh, how you will say that this is evening, this is morning? In comparison with this zero degree, where the sun is at the top, it is 12 o'clock at the noon. For 12 o'clock at the noon, the area here are suffering from evening and they are suffering from morning. To find the local time with the help of the longitude, how to find this local time with the help of the longitude? Now, we know that the earth is spherical in shape and 360 degree longitudes are imaginary lines drawn 1 1 degree apart. The earth's complete one rotation on its axis in approximately 24 hours. Therefore, Again, a morning comes, again, a morning comes, again, a morning comes after 24 hours, again, a morning comes after 24 hours. Similarly, the earth takes 24 hours to run through 360 degree. The sun, sun appears to move at the rate of 15 degree in one hour. Okay, because you have to divide 360 by 24. It means one degree in four minutes and 15 degree in one hour. Therefore, one can say the sun is overhead each meridian after four minutes. Sun is overhead after four minutes in each meridian. This is the meridian, sun is overhead here. After four minutes, this is the second meridian, one degree, third meridian, one degree, fourth meridian, sun is overhead. Every now, all the places, when the sun is overhead, it's known as the local time of that longitude. So, this is enough for today. And tomorrow, hopefully, I will finish this chapter. And, we subscribe and to the do subscribe channel. I am teaching very good. Very good teacher. And I am. Share video and I am very much impressed by myself. And share video friends. Share this video. All the best. Have a nice day. Evening and night. Enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe.